You got a uh, to-do list of all those little home projects, you know, those little things that you got to fix here and there around your house. Our uh, rental guru, Sebastian Clovis, is here uh, to help you with some of those all right. easy little, little jobs. We're not talking about knocking down an entire wall, putting an addition on your house. These are just the things that are kind of like, oh, I got to fix this. Exactly. Fix that, right? these, yeah. these are quick and easy updates to your house. You know, right. a lot of people, they want to change the style in their home, yeah. but they can't afford the, you know, the full gambit, the full right. renovation. Right. And, and neither should they have to. There's a lot of things that you can change in your house uh, and, and do your Yourself. So here's three examples of quick, easy changes okay. you can do I always do think house. it's quick and easy. It never turns out that way for me, hopefully after listening to you. All right, well, this is a short segment, so we're going to get three of them in. I'll show okay. you exactly how quick it is. Now, one of the first things that you want to think about changing to update the look of your space, perhaps in your kitchen, is your cabinet hardware. Right. Okay? Now, I didn't bring it. I'm from Toronto. I'm just here for little trips. I didn't bring a cabinet door for you, so we're going to okay. imagine that this piece <laughs> of, of uh, drywall right here is a cabinet door. Now, a lot of people have a little, you know, a little cabinet knob like that. Yep. You know, just a one knob. Yep. Now that knob has a screw going through the back, one screw going through the back and connecting it in. Mm -hmm. Now, when you update those things, a lot of people go into a more modern look, right? Mm -hmm. a, a handle that has two screws. Right. So what people will do is they'll take a tape measure, they'll measure out the distance, they'll try to transfer that onto the, right. the cabinet door and then they'll screw it in. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's a big problem, but here's the issue. If you get it off by even a sixteenth of an inch and that handle is is just leaning a little yeah. bit to the, yeah. to the side like I had a few too many drinks or something, <laughs> then you could have a beautiful kitchen, but your eye will just keep going to that handle. To that handle. So right. what you're going to want to use is a jig like this. This is very cheap. Okay. Get it in any big box hardware store. You pop that on the side of the cabinet oh, door, yeah. and you can see it's got these pre yeah. these, these holes in there, right? Okay. So you find which holes you're going to want. You take your you take your drill bit, mm -hmm. poke it in there, remove your jig, drill your holes, and that way you know your handles will be 100% perfect. And that's the time. standard measure for any of the exactly no tape measure required. Perfect. Which, even as a contractor, I appreciate. I like it already. All right. Okay, another big. This is a banger right here. A lot of people like want to change your backsplash. That's a big job because mm -hmm. you have to. You know, it, it requires a lot of demolition. It requires putting on thin set, right. uh, which. People, it's just time and energy, right? right? So these here, these are called speed tiles. Now this is something that anyone can use. This, basically, it's a sticker. So you're gonna just sticky tile. You're gonna you're gonna Take peel the off. back off, right? And there you, you can, go. You can feel how it sticks. Right. Now it seems very simple, but I'm gonna give you the trick right now. Okay, before you do this, you're going to want to make sure that your wall is nice and clean. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to take 500 milliliters of water, mix it with a teaspoon of soap detergent. Okay. And then you're just going to want to put that water on top of the, the back of the... Uh, the back of the... Uh, After you peel it off, right? Yeah, the okay. backsplash. Right. All right? And you're probably thinking, that doesn't make sense. You're going to ruin the stickiness. Well, that's what you want. You want it to be... You want it You want it so that when you put it on the wall, you can massage it in and make sure that those lines oh, okay. are perfect before right. it really grabs and adheres. Right, right. Okay? Rather than just slap it on, you say, Exactly. Because, right? again, yeah. if those lines don't line up quite right, Beautiful kitchen. Guess where your eyes going to go? All you're going to see is that one that's crooked. Do you know my wife? Because <laughs> that's exactly what she does, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. Last thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is a, this is an update that's absolutely necessary. Right. Now a right. lot of people, uh, you know, for some reason they haven't put a door stop on. Every time that right. door opens, the knob hits the wall okay. and it creates a okay. hole like this. Or you've yeah. got a teenage son that stumbles home drunk one night and puts his fist through the wall. Or was mad at how the playoff game showed up. Exactly. Not exactly. mentioning any names. Now. Okay. Yeah. Now. There are several different ways that you can repair this. Okay. But I'm going to show you one that's called a butterfly patch. Okay. No power tools required. You don't need to cut wood. No poly filler, no, wood no backers. nothing like that. You okay. need a little poly filler. Okay. You know, but you don't have to put... A lot of people will cut this out. They'll put wood backers behind it. Right. They'll screw it in and okay. then patch it. Okay. I'm going to show you one without power okay. tools. So what you're going to want to do is get a, a piece of drywall. Just cut a little square like this. Okay. All right? That's bigger than your hole. Okay. You're going to want to turn it around onto its back and just score the sides about an inch in. Okay. All right. So you can see I'm just scoring. All right. Scoring those edges. Okay. And then you crack it. You're going to see how that kind of cracks crack like it. that. Oh, right. Like that. All right. Yeah. Just crack it and then okay. peel, kind of peel off. Peel off which? No, no, not oh, that way. Oh, not that way? Nope. Here, which let me way? do one. I got one for okay, you. Okay, you do one. I got one for you. You got 30 seconds here. So All right. There you go. Let's, let's peel that off there. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now you know why I fail miserably at this. Right. <laughs> let, me, let me fix it up here okay, for you, man. Fix, this will make, make a great renovation show right okay, here. Okay, all right. All right, let's drop off this side. Yeah. Let's peel it off. All right. All right, one more. We're creating, we're creating a butterfly one, wings. One more, okay. We're creating a butterfly wings Can we right do here. this in 15 seconds? Absolutely. Attaboy. Now, once you're there, you want to stick it on. Okay. Trace around that, that shape right there. Okay. Okay, cut your hole out. Throw your mud on there. No tape, no tape measure. Bang. Stick it on. And there you got it. 
Butterfly drywall patch, baby. Nice, That's nice work, my man. All right. Thanks again, Sebastian. To watch this segment again, you can check out our website, ctvmorninglive.ca.